Ahoy hoy folks, today I've got two new random Wi-Fi battles using my uh, Anger Point Tauros team, although Anger Point Tauros will only appear in the first battle. Um, so anyway, yeah, random Wi-Fi, blah blah blah, they're doubles battles. I lead off with Frostlass and Tauros, as my opponent leads off with Rotom and Scissor. Now this isn't necessarily that good of a combination for me, but I'm worried about Scissor's Bullet Punch, but... And maybe he doesn't go over the first turn, so I'm like, okay, maybe he's doing something else. Or maybe he's just swords dancing. So anyway, um, I activate Anger Point on Tauros, uh, get its attack through the freaking roof, as Tauros is going to go for a rock slide. It misses Scissor, which is very unfortunate, because I was really hoping to get the flinch. I'm not, I doubt I could have one-hit KO'd. Uh, but I almost KO'd that Rotom. Now, I have no idea why, so my Rotom, my opponent's Rotom goes ahead and goes for Trick, and Trick's on a Choice Scarf, but why is it so slow if it's a Scarf? It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, yeah, my opponent was going for the... Uh, Swords Dance, and now it's going to be at plus two, and I do not think that Tauros can throw out a Bullet Punch. Um, so here comes the Bullet Punch, Tauros dies, and that is actually very, very sad for me. Um, so it takes a little bit of Life Orb Recoil, Frostlass goes for Crunch, so I'm at least going to get one KO, I'm going to take out that Rotom, and that makes me very happy. So, yes! Out now is going to come my Sableye. Um, which is, you know, a great little annoyer. Out from my opponent is going to come Tyranitar. I'm locked into, uh, I'm locked into Crunch, but I don't really want to switch out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, my scissor's going to go ahead and go for the Bullet Punch. Actually against Sableye, predicting Sableye to be the bigger threat. Sableye survives on 11, which is great, because Sableye is now able to get off a Will-O-Wisp and cripple that scissor, which is really my only hope of winning this battle at all. I go for the crunch against T-Tar, it's resisted, not going to do anything. But I do get the defense drop, so that's great! That's actually great. T-Tar is going to go for the Dragon Dance. That's not going to be good. Yeah, that's not going to be good at all. Uh, but really nothing I can do. I mean, this battle's basically lost. Without the boosting sweepers, I just really had no hope. Uh, Frostloss takes a little bit of damage from the sand. Sableye survives on two! Survives on two! Great Sableye! Man, I just love Sableye. It's just such an awesome little Pokemon. Scissor's gonna take some burn damage, and um, now Bullet Punch is going to KO Sableye. Not really very surprising. Um, and as I said, this battle is basically lost, but I'm gonna show you the rest of it. But so this is this is kind of, you know, the flaw in this team, even when my opponent isn't going for something like Trick Room. Priority is really a bitch. Um, although, uh, well, I mean, eh. I, I was gonna say, you know, I should have I, I should have put a uh, focus sash on my frost last, but um, that wouldn't have helped me considering it was tricked off in their sand anyway. So blah blah blah. My last Pokemon is Gardevoir. It is going to be completely and totally useless because its only attack is stored power. Or its only rather attacking attack is stored power, and it's got no boost, so it's not going to really use that stored power. Plus, both of my opponent's Pokemon are going to go first, what with Scissor having priority and Tyranitar having, uh, being a plus one. I don't think Gardevoir any, has any speed investment anyway. Gardevoir goes down, and that is the end of the battle. So, that wasn't that great of a battle. Uh, I, I have been talking, um, over my team with someone. I'll let you know who in the, uh, annotations. Um, oh, Blue Eyed 95, and he actually had some really great suggestions, so I'm gonna uh, do some modifications at some point to this team, mostly focusing on Gardevoir. Anyway, so here's the second half of this uh, video. This is going to be another doubles battle, and I'm going to use um, Conkeldur and Escavalier, who you haven't seen before, and so lead off with Conkeldur. And it looks like, because I was thinking my opponent was going to use Trick Room. It looked like a Trick Room team. I mean, he's using some very slow Pokemon. Um, but it doesn't look like, and you know, I see that um, my opponent, uh, my opponent's uh, got that uh, Dusk Noir out first turn, so, and then I see, wait, Dusk Noir is out again? What's going on? I thought there was Species Claws. I, I didn't look at the team preview. That's a Zora. Um, and so that's not going to be good. Sableye is going to get taken out on the first turn. And amazingly, that, that's... Yeah, so that's really not good for me. Conkeldur is going to go for the bulk up, though. And so, well, it's a free bulk up. Eh, whatever. Um, actually, that bulk up is going to matter later in the battle, as you're going to see. Uh, I get my Burn Orb activated, and so now I can take out that... Uh, I can almost certainly take out that Zoroark in one hit with a uh, Priority Mach Punch, boosted by bulk up. And by, um, 
guts. But instead, he's going to protect. Uh, he's going to go ahead. Uh, uh, his real Dusk Noir is going to go ahead and go for the fire punch against my Scavenger. Luckily, I have the Akaberry, and I am going to survive one turn. It's really not going to do me much good because the Scavalier is so slow. A Scavalier would be great if this were a Trick Room team that he was sporting, but he's not going for the Trick Room, so I foolishly go for the Sword Stance thinking, eh, he's not going to focus on my Scavalier. Actually, I didn't think that he would carry the Fire Punch. So that's really what was going on there. Um, but Conkildur's taking some burn damage, but now is where this is all going to turn around. Okay, well, maybe not quite now. His Zorark is going to go for the... Um, is going to go for the flamethrower and take out my Escavalier. I just figured there was no point in trying to save Escavalier. Uh, Conkildur has enough health that it sh everything should be okay. Uh, his uh, Dust Noir goes for the Pain Split. That's actually going to do a lot. Conkildur now is going to go for the Rock Slide, and Zoroark is frail as anything, so not going to be a problem taking it out. But had I gone for the Bullet, uh, not Bullet Punch, Mock Punch, I could have taken out that Zoroark before it attacked. Um, my Escavalier would have survived, and that would have been great. I'm down to my last two Pokemon. He has three left. Uh, out, I'm, just, I'm going to send Gardevoir. But, you know, I'm, I still have high hopes for this battle. Um, Gardevoir traces pressure. Uh, of the two abilities, that was probably the better one to trace. Uh, I mean, Dry Scan really doesn't look like it would be too useful. In fact, considering that one of his Pokemon has Fire Punch, that would actually would have been bad for me. Um, gonna go for the sh uh, he's gonna go for the Shadow Sneak, he's, they're, fo they're focusing on my Conkledur, but my Conkledur is really bulky, and Gardevoir has the Heal Pulse, so uh, Conkledur is gonna be back up to almost full HP, what, about three quarters after, oh yeah, I get the flinch, and that's so annoying, that's so obnoxious, I think I was just gonna go for the Rock Side to try to take out that guy, anyway, um, he Sucker Punches, thinking that my Gardevoir was going to attack, uh-uh, Gardevoir's not gonna attack, Gardevoir is actually not going to go for the Heal Pulse at this range any also. Instead, Gardevoir is going to go for the Psych Up to copy those attack boosts, or the, those uh, stat boosts from Conkeldur. And now, instead of having 20 base power, uh, stored power is going to have 60 base power. Yeah, really, I'd be better off with Psych, don't you think? So that's one of the changes I'm making to Gardevoir. Gonna get rid of Psych Up and Stored Power. Just gonna go for Psychic. Because, I mean, Psychic's got reliable damage. Don't, doesn't have to worry about setting up. It's not, it's, it'll be very rare that I would be able to do any more setting up than, you know, getting 90 base power with Stored Power. Anyway, gonna go ahead and mock Punch his, uh, Rotom. Take it out in one hit. Thanks to the fact that Conkledur is at plus one, plus all those Guts boosts. Um, anyway, Rock Slide ain't gonna do jack to my Gardevoir. Gardevoir is going to now go for the Stored Power, which uh, is quite a, a 4x super effective. I'm gonna get the KO, and I'm actually going to win the battle. So, lost the first one, won the second one. Kinda nice. Hope you enjoyed that, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, and of course, challenge. Bye!